Hey guys, welcome to the Linux Essentials for Hackers course. In this video, we're going to get started with taking a look at the various keyboard shortcuts uh, that will help you navigate around the system much easier and to work with the terminal uh, at a much more efficient rate. All right, so let's get started. Now, I'm currently using Ubuntu. You can be using any other Linux distribution that you want, uh, and uh, we're going to be primarily working with the terminal first before we actually uh, delve into desktop environments uh, and, uh, you know, various other distributions. So uh, we're going to be using Debian. Uh, and again, Ubuntu is based off Debian. And uh, for our package manager, we'll be taking a look at the Aptitude package manager. But as I said, we'll be delving into all of that later on. All right. So with Ubuntu, uh, getting uh, opening up a terminal with your keyboard is very simple. You have your Control, Alt and T key or you have your super and T if you're running Debian or any other distribution. So on Ubuntu, it's control alt and T or your super and T and you can customize your keyboard shortcuts uh, however you want. All right. So let me just uh, let me just minimize this. Now, uh, the other interesting thing that you can do uh, or very helpful thing that you can do with, when working with uh, various windows, it doesn't have to be a, uh, uh, a terminal window, is you can perform tiling and that is by using the super key and your arrow keys to direct uh, the location of the windows and you can tile them appropriately, right? So uh, as you can see, I've used uh, the super and up key and that maximizes it. And it, of course, I can take it to the left or I can take it to the right and I can you know leave it uh, where, where it was previously, right? So let me just expand it. Now let me talk about a uh, font size, right? So font size is very easy to change and uh, to actually increase and reduce. So if I wanted to increase my font size, I would use the control shift and the plus key on my keyboard and that would increase the font size, right? Uh, I can then minimize it by using the control and the minus key on my keyboard and that will reduce the font size. So again, uh, increasing it is control shift and, and the plus a key. Uh, and uh, reducing the font size is control and uh, the minus key on your keyboard, right? So that is uh, how to increase and reduce your font size. Now let's talk about uh, actually clearing your screen, which is very, very simple. So I'll just uh, use a generic command here. You don't have to worry about what that command is. So if I wanted to clear my terminal, I would simply say clear and that will get rid of all the content that was currently on the terminal. However, uh, I can also use a keyboard, uh, a, key, a keyboard shortcut. Uh, so again, if I just list uh, the same command here, I can use the control and L key and that will clear the terminal for me without me having to type the clear command. All right, so let's talk about some, uh, some other keyboard shortcuts that you should be aware of, right? So uh, if we are working with a particular process, so for example, uh, I can say uh, nmap, I can run an, a quick nmap scan here and I can just say SV, uh, 192.168.1.1 uh, and we can hit enter. I can use the control C key uh, to actually uh, end the currently running process and it will return you back to your uh, to, to your shell. Uh, in this case, we're using the bash shell. So if I want to end a uh, process that's currently running like the one I was running, which was nmap, I use the control and C keyboard shortcut, right? Now, if I wanted to suspend or to pause this uh, or to pause a particular task or a process, I can use the control and Z key, right? So if I was running nmap SV, the same key uh, or the, the same command, I can type that out. However, here are other useful uh, keyboard shortcuts that you can use. So I can cycle through my previously used commands by using the up uh, arrow key. And that will again cycle through all my all my previously used commands. So again, I can just go to this previous command and hit enter. And then I can use control and Z to actually uh, pause and suspend that process uh, in memory. And uh, remember, it, it hasn't stopped it. You have just suspended it. All right. Now let's talk about tab. Uh, uh, let's, let's talk about the tab key and auto completion, right? So uh, we can use the tab key uh, to auto complete file and directory names. So let me just clear this out and I can use the control and L key. So if I go to my, uh, well, I can actually work from my home directory, but let's say I wanted to cat a particular file. So let me just uh, list all the files in here. So let's say I wanted to cat my, um, let's see, or uh, let's say I wanted to cat my, my password file. So again, I can say cat uh, Etsy, and I can say password right now. Uh, if I wanted to auto complete this, I could use the tab key 
and again it'll if I use it two times it will give me the various suggestions here so a single tab will auto complete it if it has an accurate uh, idea of, of the particular file or directory you're referring to so again if I said uh, if I give it a bit more information in regards to the file or directory I, I was looking for I would simply just hit tab and it gives me the file there However, I can hit double tab and that again gives me uh, the files that are related to the particular data that I've entered here. So again, if I reduce it just to AP and I hit tab twice, it will give us the recommendations as to uh, in, in reference to the to, to the uh, to the particular files that uh, that begin with the word p and again if i can increase that uh, probability or the specification of the file i'm looking i'm looking for by increasing the amount of letters so again uh, again i can tap it twice and now you can see the results are more fine tuned so again i can uh, i can use tab to auto complete it to password and i can hit enter and that displays the contents of the password file so that is how to use uh, the tab key and those are the various uh, you know commands that uh, or keyboard shortcuts that you can use while working in the terminal and hopefully those will make your life a whole lot easier so again control and l that clears everything for me uh, now let's talk about um, how to close your terminal. So again, closing your terminal is very simple. You can use uh, the Control, Shift and W key. So again, I can say Control, Shift and uh, W here, uh, right over here. And that works uh, pretty universally among all distributions. So again, Control, Alt, T, that opens up your terminal, uh, increasing the font size, Control, Shift and the plus key and uh, so on and so forth. And you can tile your terminal or any window in your system by using the super key and your arrow keys or your directional keys here. All right, so those are all uh, the basic uh, keyboard shortcuts that I wanted to start off with. I'll be referencing others throughout the series. Uh, let me know which ones uh, I missed and I'll be seeing you in the next video in this series.